All right, guys, we are hard at work packing out a shipment this morning. Check it out. Look at what we have here today. If you guys can tell me what this is, put it in the comments below. Okay, there's only one type of fish here, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys tell me. I look forward to hearing all your guesses. Let me get a little bit closer into this bag and give you a better look. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we're done packing up all those catfish there. Hopefully, hopefully you guys guessed correctly in the comments below. I will review it and give everyone who got it correct a nice big thumbs up. But I still have to pack a couple of other fish I wanted to show you guys come around over here. So we have a couple of these parrot fish, okay, uh, different varieties. This is what we call is the, the golden tiger uh, parrot. Let me pull it out for you right here. Really beautiful yellow color with a black stripe okay and uh, this is actually for my freight agent uh, she asked me for some fish so I held back a couple of pieces and uh, didn't ship it off to Rod and these will be for her um, she has a tank at home full of different parrot fish and when I told her that I got this new type she was very interested to get some for her tank so I said yeah sure no problem and of course it's on the house. That's a beautiful red and white parrot. Really beautiful color. Nice bright white and bright red. And let's see here. There's these two guys. Oh, these give me a hard time. Well, all right, let's take it. Come on, buddy. Time to go to your new home. There we go. All right. So this is a white parrot with yellow so we're gonna call them yellow whites but this one's pretty cool the whole body is white and then he's got the yellow head around the eyes and then I think there's another one here we go this one's a nice one too oh come on wow this type used to, seems to be more feisty or more active come on buddy see I can't use a big net because they're hiding behind the the pumps and the, the big net is not nimble enough to get in there. There we go. There we go. We got him. And this is a really nice one. It's half yellow, half white. Pretty cool. Oh, all right. So if you guys are interested in uh, these types of parrots, we have it up for sale on the website at Predatory Fins. And I will be adding some of these fish up into my website shortly as well here's another red and white parrot okay we call them i think we were calling them candy cane parrots for a while and uh i mean that's a nice name people can relate to the the red and white candy canes so anyways guys i'm gonna bag that up and then we're gonna be headed out to the airport i'm gonna be dropping off the shipment of catfish okay uh that is a international shipment and then i'll be bringing these to the agent and then we're gonna come back, and when I get back, I got more to this video for you guys, all right? Because we had some puppy born today. I'm not able to get to them right away because I gotta take care of this stuff uh, because of uh, time, because it's time sensitive. But once I get back, we will get working on those new pups, and it's pretty cool, okay? I'm gonna be showing you the progression of, of the previous two or three batches, and you guys get to see the development and how these pups have developed um, over time, which is always very, very interesting. All right, so I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm here at the airport, about to drop it off, give you guys a real quick look. There's the pallet, and uh, have a safe trip. So now we're gonna, we're gonna head back to the office, and I'm gonna pull out those pups for you, all right? Hang on. So I'm back at the office, and uh, I'm ready to pull out those pups for you guys. Let's uh, sneak up on Oi and see what they're doing in here. Because I've been out all day working my butt off to support this family. Let's see what these people are doing. Look at that. The life of the family of Stingray Biology. Everyone's got their own computer watching their little videos. Hey, Oi. I gotta catch some babies. You wanna help me? You wanna help? Look at you. You're laying down. You look so lazy. 
Come on. Get up. That's my family, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, anyways, here we go. We got pups once again in the marble tank. Let's take a quick peek. That's daddy -o. And the pups are all in this corner here. I think there are five pups today. And uh, let's get ready to pull them out. All right, and then after I pull them out, I'm gonna show you the difference between each batch that we have had. All right, here you go. Oh my God, I'm so tired. It was so hot out there. Sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Are you ready? Okay, let me, let me just take this cover out completely. Can we see the baby? Oh, I see one, two, three. Five. Five. Wait, I see another one. I don't know. Really? Is it an invisible one? Because I only counted five. Oh, I think it's five. I just saw six. You saw six? All right, let's see. Oh, well, oh, there's one right there. here. Oh, we got away. Okay. So this will be pup number one. Pup number one. come to say hi to you. Say hi to me. We always have this problem with the glare. Let's get under here, you'll see it better. Okay. So we've been through this before, guys. When they're first born, especially with the marbles, they're very plain. If we look really carefully, you can see those little spots there. And uh, with time, they will develop. All right, that's all I can say. You know, we have to trust in the quality of the fish. And uh, this one is a female. I'm gonna put it in this basket right now. For now, actually. I will move the other ones later on. But just for now, I wanna get the pups out because they've been in here uh, since early this morning. And I'm guessing they might have been born in the middle of the night, who knows. So, we definitely wanna pull them out before the adults cause any damage but knock on wood I haven't had any problems here yet all right let's try to flash there we go see with some lighting you can see the orange spots a little bit better with the black ring it's all around uh, see this one has really nice perimeter spotting you see it all around the edge the spots are all connected like a pearl necklace so I definitely know when this one gets older and starts to show the pattern a little bit better um, the, the perimeter is going to be really, really beautiful. Uh, this one is a little male. Okay. Drop that in there. Come on, guy. Let's go. That was number two. So we got one male and one female so far. Um, I don't like it when they hang out by that intake over there. Because that is one thing that's happened to me before. Um, I lost pups that got stuck on the intake. And, um, but unfortunately, you know, this, this is the style of my filtration. And, uh, you know. Oh, come on, get back in the basket. Oh, see, look. This one looks a little bit different. You see the pattern? You can see the spots a little bit better. Okay, um, a lot of black rings with a little center so uh, this one could be one of those oddball patterns just like the father which and this one is this one is a male okay and let's show the father real quick or right. that's the father right there and it's got an oddball pattern okay um, that's not your typical marble Matoro pattern um, and so I guess his gene or whatever gene that he's carrying that that uh, has that trait has passed on to that one pup which is pretty cool because that's also the goal of why I use him as the male all right come on all right, hang up on them I apologize guys you know I film with my phone and that happens all the time where we get phone calls in the middle of filming okay I'll put it down all right, so again, this is the same pattern as all the other ones. And uh, nothing new, but definitely as they develop, 
it's very exciting to watch. A female. So how many is that now? Two females? I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> Come on, I'm talking here. You're supposed to help keep count. I think it's two females and two males. All right. So the last one's over there in the corner. I thought Kim said six. Hey, Kim said six. I don't know what she's seeing. She, it's time to get her new glasses. I only counted five. Oh, and this one is a boy. You can see it right there already. Can you see it? Oh, see, you're not doing your job. All right, anyways, I saw it already. It's a boy. But uh, it's tight over here. Oh, I lost him. Where is it? He's over there. Now he's hiding behind the basket. I gotta get him over here first. Come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, wow, he's an escape artist. This little guy. Let's get the train here. Let's get him. Oh, you know what? It's just, there's, there's no room to work here. I gotta do it over here. Alright, he's upside down. Now he's right side up. And I think he might have the oddball pattern. No, nope, he doesn't. He has the regular pattern, but uh, just very pronounced. You can see he's got bigger spots and it's a little bit more orange. And we saw it already, right? It was a boy? You say so. I say so. Yes, I say so. Oops. Yes, I say so. It is a boy. So we got three boys and two girls this time around. Now that that's done, I want to show you guys a little bit of something here. All right? I have three consecutive litters of pups in this system and I'm gonna show you from one batch to the next to the next okay and it's roughly about three months in between each batch okay so you guys can now very clearly see the development every three months all right uh, should I start with the oldest ones Oi, or should I start with the, the new ones let's start with the new ones and progress on so that people can really really see uh, the difference here. The uh, well, first thing I gotta do is I gotta turn down the pump. Okay. That's done. Now all the rippling will stop. And then let me take over here. Let's turn on the flash so everyone can see better. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. We got two batches in here. Obviously, those are the new ones, right? And then the bigger ones, those are the batch. Uh, that, that's the previous batch from three months ago. And you can see the development very nicely. Now, see this one's developed very nicely. And this guy on the wall here, let me, let me, let me push him down so you can see him better. Hopefully he don't, don't poke me. Okay, so these two are developed very nicely. These two are lagging a little bit behind those first two, but it's coming along. And uh, I would say probably in a, like, another week or so, we're gonna see a lot more marbling develop from them that's two batches side by side so that's batch zero day zero okay that's about what three months so that's 90 days oh my goodness phone calls just keep coming the camera by accident sorry about that all right huh. so that's two batches about 90 days apart okay now we're gonna go another three months what's another 90 what's 90 plus 90 180 Okay, <laughs> so we went from day zero to day 90, and then from day 90 to day one eight. I feel like Rod now asking you, you know, what's the correct um, way to say things. So it's 180, right? Yeah. So now this is batch 180. Now they've really, really developed. Okay, you can see the spotting, you can see the black rings, you can see the marbling, you can see the orange color very very beautiful fish okay and like I've always told you guys marbles have been my favorite ray since I started the hobby Come you know down. um it's one of those fish that is you know not too expensive and not the cheapest out there right because you know a lot of people don't want to start with the cheapest and they want something better and uh, this was always my favorite but the hardest thing was getting the really nice marbles. You know, there's a lot of marbles out there, there's wild marbles, and it's very hard to find the ones that have
development or pattern like that. Now, there's a breeder in, in, in Europe, I think it's UK, Richard, and he has very good breeding stock as well. We see him all over Facebook. And um, now, you know, I'm very proud to be able to finally breed this level of quality. As you can see, you know, I, have, I take a lot of pride in this and I've been showing it off a lot. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys the difference in development across the batches, all right? So I hope you guys learned something. Thank you again for watching and please be sure to like this video if you like the content I'm putting out. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button right now, all right? Take care guys and I'll see you in the next episode.